Hey everybody, and welcome back. Uh, I don't know what all this is. Brittany's doing some lighting stuff. Let me know if comments down below, because I have no clue what, what's going on. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, so I was just looking around today. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw. Brittany recently upgraded um, from a Razer Siren X mic. Or Siren, I don't know how to say it yet. I had it for about a year, and I still don't know how to say it, so I'm never going to learn how to say it. But <laughs> it's either a siren or a siren. So. One of the two. Um, so she recently upgraded from that to a Blue Yeti. Uh, the Blue Yeti Yeti Caster. Blue Yeti Caster uh, set. It has the arm, the shock mount, uh, the Blue Yeti microphone, all that. It was like $200. It was $199.99. $200 for argument's sake. And that, for that, you get... A very sturdy arm, a very sturdy shock mount, and the Blue Yeti mic. And I was kind of going, you know, yeah, it's $200. Uh, what we paid for Britney's Siren was about 100 So was it, is it worth it? Not so much is it worth it, but is it, was it worthwhile to even get the Siren in the first? So I have the Siren right here you know, in my hands. It's pink, well, the pink one, of course match everything else she has and i went on today and i just i as you can see i literally just googled razor siren pink and these popped up so on the official you know razor website for the quartz siren 99.99 us usd so 100 bucks that's half the price of the yeti cast now with the yeti caster i i cannot stress this enough i have it pulled up right here 200 bucks Get the mic, shock mount, arm, all the goodies that you could possibly need to start recording like immediately. Um, for a hundred dollars, get the Siren mic that is not 360. It doesn't come with any of the controls. I have cardioid. Have it has your interview or or some blank. But it has your interview where you could stand in front of it, you can have someone there, and you can talk, you know, the same way. It doesn't have the omnidirectional of a podcast mic. Like and they call this an integrated shock mount, I think. It is hilarious to call this a built-in shock mount. It is not that good. I mean, you hit your desk, all the vibrations go straight into the mic you're hearing every bit. But that doesn't matter anyway, because it sounds very tinny. It has no bass. The entire... That fell. Oh well. So I can more easily show. This is straight plastic. Weighs probably about one gram to two grams. There's a metal ring in the top that you can feel when you hold it. All the weight definitely right like this. As you can tell, it just fell over. It's completely plastic. On the actual mic, the only metal bit is the base. And it's to absorb shock and it doesn't even do that well. And you're paying right now, because it's quarantine of course. And price gouging is a thing that is running rampant parts, streaming setups, setups like that. Currently, right now on Walmart, it is $153. Now, granted, it's left on the website, but the list price on their website, this is apparently a sale, is $305 for a $100 mic that. It says super cardioid. I don't believe that at all. Um, it's very much a plug and play. It doesn't have any software. It has nothing that comes with it. This is what you get. You cannot edit anything unless it's through OBS or Audacity or any kind of audio software that you can do with any mic. So 100 bucks. And I was sitting here and I was thinking, you know, what can you get for 100 bucks that would far outweigh the razor siren siren yeah. yeah brings me to what i found the blue yeti nano it has about the same audio quality as a blue yeti uh the only difference is it's smaller and i believe like two less buttons like it has patterns 
So it only has cardioid, only has omnidirectional. So you don't have uh, the interview mode where you have the front and the back, but it cuts out the sides. And then you don't have, I don't even know what that other one is. <laughs> I just checked out the patterns. I don't even know what the other one is. I don't use that anyway. Cardioid's the only one I um because I want to block out anything behind. And it also does a pretty good job of cutting out things below. Not the best, but it does a, a fairly good job of it. Everything else can, I can kind of post. Um, I'm still learning. Do it in post, but and do it. In so I was wondering, you know, do you get the Yeti caster as someone that's looking for a mic ready to come in? I know this is unavailable for this random place that it put me in. I don't know why it put me in. But and then it says act fast on the So I don't get it. It's Best Buy's website, it's a little funky. That is a video for another time if I ever want to go on an hour long complaint about Best Buy. Anyway. So 200 bucks you get the whole setup put it in you're basically ready to go the only thing i would recommend doesn't come with the setup is hot filter for your dust so it doesn't get in the mic and doesn't start corroding parts faster than they already do and they, they really don't corrode that fast i should it's more so just a protective thing and also to protect from your spit because you spit when you talk from um so this, you know, like I said, three pieces, basically everything you need besides pop filter. Started. We go to Amazon to find just the Blue Yeti mic. It is the exact same mic that is in the setup, except it has this stand on a desk instead of an arm. And right now during quarantine, this is the cheapest I found on Amazon. Is one ninety three. Now, you can find it on Best Buy again. For 130, which is its price. That is its, you know, the Blue Yeti web official website has it marked at $150. And for $130, for $70 more, you're getting an arm. Look it up now. Why not? Blue Compass Orb. Let's just look it up now. Why not? 100 bucks at least. Brittany says 114. 100 bucks is what I'm seeing here at, at random stores. And you have so many options. Um, so you're already paying another 100 bucks for the arm. And then you're getting a shock mount, which normally a shock, I think I paid about $25 for my shock mount. So it all in all, $130 mic, $100 arm right there, too. Plus your. $25 shock mount if you go with mine, which is a little cheaper. Theirs is probably more expensive. I'm, I can sit here and probably find these. It's probably the shock mount that should go with the blue, so it's probably marked up prices. Probably more expensive than 25 bucks. Well, let's just say it's $25 for sake of argument. $130 mic, $100 arm, $230 bucks right there. All in all, $255 plus the $25 you know, shock mount. Plus pop filter about ten bucks. You're looking at two hundred and fifty six dollars or two hundred and sixty five dollars to get started. When you could just get what you need, two hundred bucks, get a ten dollar pop filter, uh, two ten, two hundred and ten dollars before you know whatever taxes, and you're set up to go. I mean, and look, I I have seen. There may there there may be better mics out there than the Blue Yeti for the hundred and thirty dollar to two hundred dollar price. But the fact that you can get all of this in a kit, set it up, the Blue Yeti is a very trusted mic. It's a very supported microphone. Uh it's a very long lasting microphone. I mean the thing is heavy and straight metal and it will last. It now it's heavy and you will need a heavy arm to support it, but like I said, the Yeti caster comes with the exact arm needed to hold it. If you're just starting, and you just built a computer that's already like 50 bucks, and you got your monitor, so you're probably, or probably two monitors, so you probably spent in $250 range those, and then you have headphones that are 60 bucks. $200 for a set that basically is nothing. And don't think you can just, you know, oh, I have a razor cracker and I can just use this mic. Don't trust this mic. Don't trust these mics. Um, 
when I first started back when I had a I had a different I'm not even gonna ever talk about this channel again. But I had a channel where I used a ten dollar headset with a mic attached. And let me tell you how the audio was absolute junk. Don't trust headset mics to get you through. Uh, they don't have any kind of compressor stop your you know your voice from clipping. They don't have any kind of uh, audio controls so you're really loud or low and then you trust on the fly and then it just ends up being sounding weird and distorted. And then you have to change it, you know, per environment. Whereas this is just I, I plug it, I set a bunch of stuff up. Really using OBS is recommended. If I need to get more personalized, I do that on my own time and just kind of play settings a bit. All in all, Brittany had her set up and ready to go probably within thirty to 40 And most of that was just getting the arm to her desk because her desk is small, so the arm is hard to screw in. I got it in. Good, it fits, but it's just IKEA desks are a little, a little weird. These aren't really built for YouTubing, but we like them. So, not sponsored by any of these, by the way. Um, but I'm just telling you right now, save your money. Uh, don't spend a hundred bucks on the Razer Siren X. Don't get price gouged and. 150 let alone $300 on a Razer Siren X. And get a mic that will do you good for a long time to come. And you're eventually going to need an upgrade. Everyone eventually needs an upgrade. But this will definitely start you um, that you'll be spent starting out. Uh, I know it got me through a lot, and I know that it is a great Any bad audio from it is definitely you error. Oh my fuck. It does sound good when I'm you I'm just trying to make it. I just try to stretch it to to match my use. Um but you know that's all I have to say. Uh if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below comment what kind of mics are you you know you're looking at getting and i maybe i'll check them out i don't know yet i have a wedding to save unless i'm i'm totally not opposed <laughs> but uh until next time guys